Hey everybody, it's Scott from How You Guys Here. I hope you are well and staying safe and staying sane, looking after each other in isolation. Uh, we are back once again with another review vidcast. Uh, I don't think we're calling this mouth off, but it's part of our ongoing uh, take over the world plot to give you as much video content as we can because we're sitting at home <laughs> talking about talking about movies, which is what we love to do. Uh, on today's show, uh, it's me hosting because Dave's being lazy and he hasn't seen the film yet. But I am joined by our wonderful reviews editor, Linda Merrick. Linda, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. How are you? Hi. I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. Doing all right. This, these, these little vidcasts and little video reviews, etc., and things are keeping me going. So it's kind of keeping our keeping our keeping our toes wet, as they say. Uh, so uh, yeah, we obviously we spoke about a couple of other things this week. Uh, and uh, yesterday we spoke about Afterlife Season 2, which you can go back after this video and watch uh, on a YouTube channel. Uh, and if you like this uh, video, make sure you like the channel and subscribe. Uh, and leave us your comments uh, in the comment section below as to what you thought of the film we're going to discuss, which is Netflix's uh, new original uh, film called Extraction, uh, which stars, as you can see, Thor himself, Mr. Chris Hemsworth. Uh, it's a action thriller. Uh, it's from the producers, uh, from the directors of uh, Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Captain America Civil War, Captain America Winter Soldier, the Russo brothers, uh, and it stars Chris Hemsworth. So this is the latest uh, Netflix original offering. Uh, we've obviously had quite a few, but this is the, the biggest one we've had for a little while, obviously in terms of, uh, no disrespect to the other films, in terms of talent and the filmmakers behind it. Uh, obviously, as we said there, the, the, a lot of the Marvel uh, producers, a lot of the Marvel stunt guys always involved in this, obviously the Russos, and then Chris Hemsworth uh, is the lead. Uh, he plays a guy called Tyler Rake, who is a black market mercenary, uh, and he uh, is set on a task, uh, which is, uh, as the title suggests, an extraction, which is to extract uh, the son of one of the biggest drug lords in India, who has been kidnapped by one of, I believe, Bangladesh's, uh, a rival drug lord, shall we say. Uh, there is the young boy right there. So he is sent in uh, under the radar, off the grid, uh, by himself to extract this guy and bring him to uh, the people that, that want him back, his father. Uh, along the way, there's, he deals with the other drug lord. There's obviously a lot of corrupt cops, a lot of corrupt uh, armed forces uh, and other things of that nature. There's also some kids <laughs> trying to get a score, trying to get some money because uh, this kid is obviously worth a hell of a lot of money. And in this... And in a this... rival headhunter. Yeah, there's a rival headhunter. headhunter uh, yeah. There's David Harbour along for the for the ride, <laughs> which we won't talk about because that is uh, a bit of spoilers. Oh, I should have mentioned before we might do mild spoilers in this, so if you don't want to know anything, uh, come back when you've watched it. Uh, so yeah, it's about him. He's put in this almost. It's almost like a, an impenetrable prison in some ways, and this city that's so so hard to get out of because there's so many people and it's so corrupt and there's so much going on that only someone of his skills can can get this child out. Uh, but then obviously there's lots of backstabbing, there's lots of uh, double crosses and all the sorts of things you can get from this sort of action thriller. Uh, uh, it's certainly thrilling, whether it's any good or not, is up for debate. Linda, what was your initial reaction uh, to the film? And uh, is this something that you would normally have watched uh, in the cinema? No, not really. It's not really my, my type of thing. But at the same time, I mean, it's a silly old movie, but at the same time, I thought I thought it was actually quite exciting. There's nothing, nothing much else going on at the moment. And I thought it was... I think Hemsworth is really good in it. And as someone who's spent like hours and hours watching some of the most awful sort of like, you know, action Bollywood movies in the past, I, I found there was a loads of like um, sort of uh, caricatural uh, villains. And uh, I, I kind of enjoyed that about it. My one thing is I wanted, I wish it had been a lot funnier. Um, there was a, there's, a, there's a degree of humour in it, and there's loads of sort of a pali stuff, you know, like uh, with the relationship between Hemsworth and the kid is a really good one. Um, like it turns a bit into sort of a buddy movie uh, at some point, but it lacks humour, which is a bit a bit sad and annoying to be honest, because I think uh, like a bit of humour would have made this film so much more enjoyable to watch. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's very much out of the, you know, there's a lot of, over the over the decades, there's always one or two action films that everyone else wants to be or wants to try and get a slice of because they've been so successful. It was in the 90s, there was stuff like Speed and Face Off and all those kind of things when John Woo was coming into it. And then in the 2000s, there was obviously the Bourne movies and then obviously James Bond followed suit. So this time around, obviously John Wick is the big the, yeah. the kind of stylistic choices and the way it's shot and what they try to do in that. It's, a, you know, John Wick is a very muscular, very sweaty, very gritty film. 
But I think the secret to John Wick is that, as you say, it does have that humour and it doesn't take itself quite as seriously as this one does. Obviously, it's dealing with a subject matter that is quite serious and it's something that's very, um, something that's very ongoing and prevalent in, in modern times about, you know, not just kidnapping, but also, you know, um, child, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, 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 child trafficking and drug trafficking and all that kind of stuff so this kind of touches on that and also there's you know it's quite heavy tries to be heavy in terms of the social political agendas of of how India is obviously we're obviously not in India so we don't really know the ins and outs I, I but, feel like it yeah I feel like it doesn't do enough of that I yeah. think it tries to do too mm. much of everything and doesn't really get anything right which is a bit annoying as I said I my like uh, my biggest problem with it, um, although I think it's quite enjoyable, I think if you're looking for something completely mindless uh, to just sit down and watch for two hours, because it's, it's two hours long, it's fine. I think um, I like a little bit more humour, a little bit more of a story. I just, I, I, like, I couldn't understand anyone's motivations. And there was the backstory of uh, the Hemsworth character as well, wasn't quite clear. And I think I would have liked a little bit more maybe this is being set up to be a, like a, a first of um, a, a franchise obviously it mm. feels that way I don't know what, what did you think I, I, it felt like it was like the first film of a series yeah I think you're right it does feel like something of an origin story for that particular character as you say there's this backstory in this we don't really know whether it's a tragedy or whether it's 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 not a tragedy, whether it's a separation or whatever it is. You don't really get you kind of see a few little flashbacks, but all these flashbacks tend to all be that from the same three or four seconds of footage. So you don't really get a sense of yeah, you don't get a, get a sense of where he's come from. You don't get a sense of why he's doing this, why he feels like he has to do this, and why he seems to have this death wish where you know like a lot of action stars when the uh, action movies with action heroes in sometimes they get pushed so far that they've got nothing to lose and they're happy to go and do these things but yeah you're right i don't think any of that was explored particularly well it seems more determined to just be about the spectacle and actually the spectacle as you say it, it's pretty well done some of it is fantastic there's like oh, an 11 yeah, there's an 11 minute unbroken shot of him going through this these buildings and these you know these houses and everything else being absolutely bombarded by by uh, armed forces and police, almost like out of a video game kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and it's but, as exactly what I was going to say. It's like Street Fighter almost, you know. Um, also, worth mentioning that it's a first feature, right? So, uh, I think for mm. a first feature, it really does look good, like visually. It's impressive visually. I think the script could have done with a bit more tuning. Uh, but other than that, also, like, it's worth mentioning also that it's based on a comic novel. Mm. Uh, a comic novel I had, I'd, I'd not heard of or, I don't know, no, I'd, 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 never, I'd never heard of it, but uh, I'm surprised I hadn't heard of it because it's co-written or co-created by the Russo brothers, the, obviously the guys that yeah. did, uh, who are um, the producers on here. I think Joe Russo wrote the script for this, so it's obviously based on what they've done before. Um, but yeah, you touched on the director there, Sam Hargrave. He, I think he was a stunt coordinator and a stunt man through a lot of the Marvel movies, particularly the ones the Russos did. So he's obviously come yeah. from that background. And you can kind of see... Why? Because the, all the stunts and the fighting that's a shot there of, of Chris Hemsworth and David Harbour, um, there's not really any spoilers in that photo. Um, but as I said, there's a very muscular, very gritty, you know, it's all handheld, but you can tell that Hemsworth, for the most part, is doing everything. He's really pushed himself in this one. You know, with Thor, he has to do a certain amount, but CGI takes over when he's flying and all that kind of stuff. Whereas with this, it feels like he's very much, there he is. <laughs> old Odin son uh, he's very much in the midst and I always find with action movies that when you can even though they can't do everything when you get an actor that really wants to do as much as humanly possible like the, that's why Mission Impossible works so well because you can just you can just tell 90% of it is Tom Cruise doing all these crazy yeah. things I think it adds another level to it so I think this rises above it because what we said the, the kind of the action sequence and stuff but the fact that Hemsworth really throws himself into it and you can tell that it's him doing a lot of this stuff elevates it above kind of the, the the average action movie that you'd probably get any other time yeah i mean i, I look it's very it's, it was enjoyable it was enjoyable i just yeah. think it's very contrived i think the the script is very i think uh, loads of the characters so stereotypical and so sort of villainy like in a, a not believable way that that is, that could be a funny side of things as well i think um, I, I kind of enjoyed that. That's very Bollywood, and I don't. I actually am really interested in because there are a few Bollywood actors in the film. Mm. Uh, really interested in knowing um, what the relationship between the director and Bollywood is because I think he really gets the whole sort of a Bollywoody 
like villainy through uh, into the film. And I'm I'm really interested in that. I have not really I don't know what his connection is with that. What did you think? <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know either. But yeah, obviously uh, they shot on location, I think, in India. I don't think they shot in Bangladesh. I think in Mumbai, I think I read. So they, they again, that adds another level to it because it, it feels like they're in that environment. Yeah. Um, but you're right. I think the all the actors in it are talent actors that we uh, we don't know. I mean, I, I did the... Uh, we've been watching White Lines, which is coming on uh, Netflix very soon for some interviews yeah. that we did. And the ensemble in that is very much British and Romanian and people from Mexico and everything else. So you get to see all these actors that you wouldn't necessarily see unless you're, as you say, a fan of Bollywood. So it's great to see them do uh, do some really good work and they add another dimension to it. I think you're right that there's not really much of a, even though he has to take down so many guys. Yeah, I think they could have done with a little bit of, a bit of humour, a little bit of, you know, that the second drug lord, the guy that's trying it to get really the kid and everything needed. else, just needed a little bit of, you know, maybe yeah. just even if it was just like a few silly one-liners or something, you know, just something yeah. to keep it fresh and to keep it, Kind of ticking over and i think it's it's a film that does stop and start i think when it does get going i think it's uh it's a it's a pretty good distraction you know i think a lot of people this time of year particularly are looking forward to all the big summer blockbusters these big you know adventures that they go on in the cinema whether it's marvel whether it's star wars whether it's something like this whether it's fast and furious anything like that and obviously we're not getting to do that so this kind of scratches that itch for for two hours yeah um, I mean, I'm performances are quite good from i i, I want to like touch upon i, I know we, we don't want to uh, but david harbour's uh, character i don't want to talk about his involvement in the story but he does really come on and like the whole sort of feel of the film uh like changes uh, like, mm. very very suddenly and uh, you do get t like a lot of humor in it and i, I was suddenly really inv invested in the film um, I think that him and Hemsworth really work really well together. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I wasn't super impressed with any of the sort of peripheral characters and 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 the acting around them. But those two are really good. Yeah, it could have, it could have. I would have absolutely loved for that to have been where the story went from that particular point. Obviously, we won't go into too many spoilers, but uh, there's obviously a history with these characters. Uh, as you'll as you'll find out, but yeah, it would have been it would have been absolutely brilliant if that had been how the story went in sort of that portion of the film and into the thing because the two of them together, like you say, there's, it's kind of a buddy movie between Hemsworth and the yeah. and the and the kid, but mm. it does get this shot in the arm of energy when David Harbour comes in. He just think, oh, if it was just those two together, I, I think you're onto something there, something something quite quite good. And like you say, he's one of those actors that could be quite serious, but because of the things that he's done, particularly Stranger Things, he's able to mix both of those things together so, so well. And he's obviously, yeah. in, it looks like in Black Widow from the trailers, when we get to see it in November, that that's his character is very much like that, that he can be dramatic, but also be quite funny and quite quippy as well, which is, I think, what that, what the film, the film needed. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, as, as a final thought then, Linda, what's your, what's your recommendation and what uh, kind I, of I score think, would you I give it out fine. of five? At five, I'll probably go three, two and a half, three. But I, it's, I think it's perfectly fine. There's, um, it's, it, I think two hours is a bit too long. It's just under two hours. It's <coughs> one hour and 57 minutes. Is that right? Or am I? Something like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just shy of two hours. Yeah. <coughs> it's a bit too, it's a slightly too long. Um, but if you like that kind of thing, if you like action set pieces, loads of, loads of um, um, uh, car chases and, kids with machine guns if you like that kind of thing there's a fight and and if you're like chris hemsworth then you're you'll be at home i uh, don't need us to tell you uh but um other than that i don't think it has legs really you know in my honest opinion <laughs> yeah i i'd put two and a half as well i think it's a it's 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 very middle of the road very average action movie but it's elevated slightly by some really good action sequences and i think hemsworth's always um he's good value for for stuff i just think through his career he's made some pretty rubbish films especially like last year he made men in black which was just like terrible but i think he does he's some one of those actors that deserves he, he could be really good as like an action star like this um so yeah i think i agree with you i'd say two and a half there's nothing to I, you won't remember most of it after you've finished it but when you're in <laughs> when you're in it it is a really good uh a really good kind of distraction and you know for as i said before the the itch that ev lots of people want scratched of these big action movies because we haven't got you know obviously this i think we would have had fast and furious 
now or in the next week yeah. or two coming out in the cinema have we been in obviously not had what's going on going on so this this will definitely at its uh scratch that itch and uh hey it's worth it just to watch chris hemsworth and david harper's yeah, always it. good fun you know so um so yeah it seems like uh we enjoyed it but don't expect to remember most of it once you've uh once you've finished so uh there you go there's our thoughts on extraction uh that is on netflix i would presume around the world as of today definitely in the uk and in the usa uh, obviously that might be different in some other european territories wherever you're watching this video but in the us and the uk it's out right now so that's your friday night sorted get yourself a <laughs> nice dinner or a takeaway if you can get one where you are and uh, enjoy chris hemsworth uh, before we see him in thor again next year uh, thank you so much for watching everybody make sure if you like this video to go down and click that little thumbs up uh, like button and give us a subscribe, like a subscribe. and also <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe uh, we we'll get told off by the boss if we don't say that and uh, let us know your comments <laughs> in the comment section below did you enjoy extraction did you not what did you think was good what did you think was bad and uh, do you think this is something that could turn into a franchise whatever your question leave it in the comment section uh, that would be much appreciated uh, Linda thank you for joining me on this one thank you uh, Son's our lovely editor but he'll be back don't worry everybody fans of Dave and John and everybody <laughs> else uh, don't worry uh, stay around on how you guys use your channel there's a lot more good stuff coming but until next time we will bid you adieu take care goodbye Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!